This is a link where students are linked to the campus and Grand Forks can meet. Students don't need cars because we have a shuttle that will take them out to the airport and we also have buses that will maneuver them around the campus. On our left side we have university information and on the right there's tons of aviation industry information. UND has over 275 student organizations on campus. Two of the most prominent student organizations in the Aerospace College are the Flying Team and Aerobatic Team. The Flying Team is currently national champions, and you, you do not need a private pilot license to be a part of the team. However, with Aerobatic Team, you do. One of the most important things about your college career is to get involved. This is an atmospherium, which is a 360 degree domed auditorium. It can be used as a planetarium, as well as educational settings, such as flying in an aircraft or exploring Earth. This is a John D. Odegaard wall, where John D. Odegaard was a student at the University of North Dakota under the College of Business and Public Administration. In his thesis, he wrote how realistic it would be to implement a four-year aviation college. In 1968, he received two donated Cessna 150 aircraft, which are still being flown today, and one is primarily used for the flying team. The VR Lab provides free resources for students to practice their flying. The device also depicts what a Piper Archer would be like at the airport. The students can schedule a time to fly without an instructor necessary. This is our altitude chamber used by the Flight Physiology Department. Mostly commercial aviation students will utilize this area. We test hypoxia in here. One flight at 18,000, another one at 24,000, and a rapid decompression. This is the GAT-3 Spatial Disorientation Trainer, where students learn how to fly with spatial illusions in flight. This is the Leon Osborne Weather Center that has 24 stations to forecast weather. They also use the same software as the National Weather Service. This facility can be used by students during non-class hours. The Department of Atmospheric Sciences has a major, minor, and graduate programs. This is the Space Studies Department. All the suits were built between 2006 and 2011. Other items include virtual reality, 3D printing, and liquid cooling garments. Outside of UND, we have an analog space habitat where students can learn how to live on the moon for extended time. We offer an undergraduate minor, as well as a master's and PhD. This is the 360 tower lab that air traffic control students use that can depict any aircraft, weather conditions, wildlife, emergencies, and many other things. Students communicate live with other students pretending to be pilots. The pass rate at the Oklahoma FAA Academy is around 95% compared to off-street applicants. We are currently in the skywalk between Clifford Hall and Ryan Hall that allows students to safely cross over the road. The road used to be the Grand Force Municipal Airport runway, as well as we also have the original rotating beacon on campus.
This is one of our aviation training devices that students use to conduct their lessons. If you see a white screen, that does not mean the sim is broken. Students are just practicing how to fly in the clouds. Additionally, students are not allowed to fly these by themselves and have to with an instructor at a scheduled time. This is the Canad Air Regional Jet ATT that commercial aviation fixed wing students use for their final course. Each student has 20 hours in the simulator, 10 hours as the first officer and 10 hours as the captain to maximize their flows and procedures. This is a 32 position air traffic control radar simulation lab that can depict up to 1,500 aircraft an hour. The lab also has the ability to depict a terminal TRACON or en route ARTCC environment, both domestically and internationally. Half of the students will be controllers and the other half will be pretend pilots. We are currently in Robin Hall, named after Cy and Betty Robin. This building was designed to expand the UAS program as well as provide students ample spaces to study. Upstairs, we have rooms with wall whiteboards and students can study whenever they want with no registration required. UND was the first university to implement a four-year unmanned aircraft systems program. Some of the job opportunities include civilian, military, cinematography, and aerial surveillance. We also have a lab upstairs that allows students to control a mission for their final course. This is our UND aerospace Dispatch. We have our supervisor flight desk, dispatching, invoicing, record center, and an airport bookstore that has all the required gear and documents for flight students. We also have certified flight instructor offices around the building. This is our UND aerospace maintenance facility where each aircraft has a phase inspection program. Each aircraft has 60 hours with four segments. However, we do not offer a maintenance program. This is our fifth story of the administration building out at the airport where students can observe flight operations while purchasing beverages and food from our wing cafe. UND Aerospace has one of the longest standing helicopter programs with more than 40 years of experience. Our fleet consists of Robinson R44 cadets equipped with Garmin TXI touchscreen avionics. 